So today I'm just outside of a place called Denham, uh, just outside or just off the M40, which is within the M25, just outside of London. Uh, I'm here to see an enormous bridge building machine, which is one of a kind machine here in the UK. It was last seen down in Hong Kong of all places, building a viaduct down there in 2004. It's been dismantled, brought over to the UK, and it's currently being used to construct the Kong Viaduct, which is the, going to be the longest railway bridge in the UK once constructed. Just currently in a little bit of a shaded area, taking some respite from the sun because it really is warm down south. I'm not used to all the heat being a northerner. And yeah, I'm a little bit out of breath. So I think what I'll do is I will provide you with further statistics and further information about the viaduct and the machine itself once I'm at home. So once I'm from the comfort at home, I'll hand you over to myself and give you some further stats. And I'll just show you some shots of the bridge and what else they've been doing around here because it's not just all about uh, the machine itself. The, the bridge is rather fascinating. So what exactly is Dominique and what does it do? Uh, technically speaking it's called a launching girder, it weighs 700 tonnes and it's 160 metres long but that doesn't really tell you much about what it does so what I've done is I've produced quite a simple graphic which should hopefully demonstrate what the actual machine does. So as you'll see it basically lifts up each of the bridge sections, there's going to be a thousand bridge sections in total for the Con Valley Viaduct, each of those weighing up to 140 tonnes. They're basically lifted at the minute because it's over the uh, over the ground they're going to just lift it from the ground up into position and then they're slid along the lattice structure and then lowered to meet the bridge sections which have already been placed uh, but once it actually gets over the waterways and the lakes the bridge sections will be transported um, I'm assuming it's by some sort of self-propelled modular transporter and then Dominique will actually pick up those uh, bridge sections and then move them into place as the bridge starts to be constructed away from each of the bridge piers the actual bridge itself or the bridge sections are lowered in in pairs so basically what you'll see is two pairs or two bridge sections being lowered into place and then secured together now the actual during construction the bridge is technically a post tension balance cantilever bridge uh, basically a cantilever is anything that juts out and balance because obviously everything's done in pairs so during the construction the bridge is actually symmetrical as it uh, heads out from each of the piers but once the actual bridge is complete so once it's gone from pier to pier the bridge just becomes when well, i say just but it becomes a concrete box girder bridge albeit a post tension one now to demonstrate post tensioning i've actually brought a little bit of a kid's toy just to really quickly it's one of the best demonstrations i've seen of post tensioning so put simply what happens is cables are threaded through and i'm not sure if this happens in pairs or if it happens once the bridge gets to a certain point but basically cables are threaded through the structure and then plates are applied to the end or plugs or or some sort of fixing is applied and then basically tension is applied to those cables and that's what gives the actual bridge its stability and its strength so yeah the uh, the kids toy example is just a great little example of how post tensioning works so once the bridge deck gets to about the halfway point at which point it becomes the balance cantilever that i was talking about the actual machine itself dominique moves itself over towards the next pier uh, so basically it's got these huge enormous legs which support the structure and the legs sit on a supporting structure which is built around the actual piers but i think what's happening in this shot is that the engineers are working on the supporting structure for dominique to move to the next pier so basically it's just self-supporting structure self-moving structure and it just basically moves from pier to pier erecting the bridge section as it goes now the bridge itself like i mentioned at the start of the video will be the longest railway bridge or viaduct in the uk once constructed it's two miles or 3.4 kilometers stretching across a series of lakes and waterways between hillingdon and the m25 it will require the construction of 56 concrete piers weighing up to 370 tons each and there'll be spans of 80 meters across some of those bridge sections 
Now I was hoping to hear back from HS2 Limited by now if I could use a clip of the bridge in within the video itself, but they haven't got back to me yet. I did leave it a little bit late to be honest. But so, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to leave a link in the description below to the HS2 Limited video of the bridge and just basically it shows you a little bit of, you know, how what the bridge will look like once completed and a little bit of the construction method that I've talked about as well within that video. So I hope I covered most of the main points and give you a brief overview of how the machine works now it's being used to construct the bridge and also I hope I gave you a little bit of an idea of just how big the machine is and how big the bridge is going to be. It really is an impressive sight. It took me four hours to get down there, 200 miles from the northwest down to Denham to see it and I'm glad I did because I don't think we're going to see anything like this in the UK anytime soon and don't think we've seen anything like it before like I said it is unique to the uk currently and i can't envisage any projects of a similar sort of scale being developed any other hs2 viaducts of a similar scale so yeah i'm glad i uh, i'm glad i made the trip down there and i hope i kind of give you a sense of just how enormous this actual machine is if you've enjoyed the video or found it informative please do hit that like button and consider subscribing it really does help the channel to grow and get noticed but i'm going to leave it there for today say until next time bye bye